Well, hello there, my sweethearts. Today, Granny Carol's got a delightful tale to share with you all about the power of silence. Come closer, lovelies, and let's uncover this wonderful lesson together. The small town of Oakwood was known for its peaceful and quiet atmosphere. The streets were lined with quaint houses and the only sound that could be heard was the occasional chirping of birds. But on one fateful day, the silence was shattered by a deafening roar that echoed through the town. The residents of Oakwood were used to the tranquility of their town, so the sudden noise caught them off guard. They rushed out of their houses, trying to figure out the source of the disturbance. As they made their way towards the town square, the noise grew louder and more intense. In the centre of the square, a group of people had gathered around a man who was standing on a soapbox. He was shouting at the top of his lungs, his face twisted in anger. The townspeople recognised him as Mr. Jenkins, the owner of the local grocery store. He was known for his friendly nature and his generosity towards the community, but today he seemed like a completely different person. The townspeople listened in shock as Mr. Jenkins ranted about the recent increase in crime and violence in their town. He blamed the government and the police for not doing enough to protect the citizens. His words were filled with hatred and fear, and the once peaceful town was now consumed by chaos and panic. Among the crowd stood a young boy named Jack. He was only 13 years old, but he had always been wise beyond his years. Jack was known as the quiet and observant one in town, and he could sense that something was not right about Mr. Jenkins' outburst. He could see the fear in the man's eyes, and it made him wonder what could have caused it. As the commotion in the town square continued, Jack decided to investigate. He slipped through the crowd and made his way to the back of the store where Mr. Jenkins' office was located. To his surprise, he found the man sitting at his desk, his head buried in his hands. Mr. Jenkins, are you okay? Jack asked cautiously. The man looked up at him, his eyes red and swollen from crying. He then proceeded to tell Jack about the recent break in at his store. The thieves had stolen all his savings, leaving him with nothing. He had been struggling to keep his business afloat, and this incident was the final blow. Jack listened attentively, and as the man poured his heart out, he realised that the loud roar of anger and fear that Mr Jenkins had displayed in the town square was actually a cry for help. He had been so consumed by his own pain and fear that he had failed to see the bigger picture. In that moment, Jack understood the true meaning of the phrase, silence is not quiet, it's loud. He realised that sometimes the loudest cries for help come from those who remain silent. Mr Jenkins had been suffering in silence and his outburst was a desperate plea for someone to listen and understand. With a new perspective, Jack went back to the town square and shared Mr. Jenkins' story with the rest of the townspeople. They were shocked and remorseful for not noticing the struggles of their fellow citizen. They came together and offered their support to Mr. Jenkins, helping him get back on his feet. From that day on, the town of Oakwood became a closer community. They learned to listen and support each other and they realised that silence is not always a sign of peace. It can also be a cry for help and it's important to pay attention and offer a helping hand. As for Mr Jenkins, he learned that sometimes the loudest roars of fear and anger can be silenced by a simple act of kindness. Well, my dears, that's all for today's tale. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, take care, darlings, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, your love is our greatest support. Blessings to you all.